Hello? I asked for stuff to stop happening, but it didn't listen. So what's up? Okay, okay, it's a lot of balloons. Like it's more, it's more balloons than one would have expected to be shot by fighter jets. By my count at time of recording, we are at four balloons shot down over North American airspace via fighter jet. There's still not a whole lot of information being put out there about what these things are. The first one was obviously that Chinese spy balloon or whatever, but these ones are just something. Is it aliens? Probably not, but you know, why not? It's pretty whack to just think about the fact that we've gone from zeroed aerial takedowns over like the continental US to four in like a couple weeks. There is a quote from an official saying that they are not ruling anything out with regards to where these came from. Uh, so that's got the UFO community nice and ablaze. And like, I don't know, I consider myself a general skeptic, but I also consider myself not an absolute drag. So go buck wild with your theories, why not? One other notable thing about these balloons versus the other balloon that started this all, the, the, the first balloon, the spy one was like way up there, like 60,000 feet. These other ones were in 40,000 feet, which is like well within travel territory for for airlines so um they had to kind of take action this week's muffin is blueberry it's pretty good hey ohio are you doing okay the ohio train disaster is like really bad catching up very briefly train derailed holding dangerous chemicals so the government burned it these chemicals could kill you or cause acid rain or destroy the local environment or poison the water supply lots of stuff and like, yeah, we're really busy focusing on all these balloons that are getting shot down by fighter jets, but also like, this is a massive ecological disaster. So there's, so that, so that's, that's cool. It's pretty cold in here today. So I guess I'm going, I'm going full deckhand. If you're wondering why there's a lot of glitches recently, it's probably because we've now reached a quarter of a million people laid off from the tech sector. And that's just by January of this year. 250,000 people have been laid off. Again, not counting the tens of thousands that have been laid off in just February so far. In true American corporate fashion, a lot of these people were laid off via like email or a blog post on their public company website. Some people just received a text message from their coworkers while they were on vacation being like, hey, are you safe? It is very weird because out of the 250,000 that were laid off by January, none of them were CEOs. For some reason, the CEOs who claim to be at fault here all still have their jobs. The Seattle Police Department that I told you was gonna start using an AI to review their body cam footage is already not doing that anymore. And no, they would not like to elaborate as to why. The Super Bowl happened. Apparently the halftime show was good. Share this video with someone who also forgot the Super Bowl was happening. Okay, we need to talk about the sun. So thanks to the James Webb Space Binoculars, we're able to look really good at the sun and it's doing some wacky shit. We witnessed a thing called a solar polar vortex, which is rad. Essentially a ridiculously massive amount of material broke off of the sun's surface and just like swirled around extremely fast in a vortex at the pole of the sun. Material was moving faster than 60 miles per second. This has no bearing on anything at all in the news, but I mean, it's sick. The situation in Syria is still very bad as death tolls are passing through the double digit thousands. There's now about a hundred or so people who are being prosecuted by the government for shirking building codes, but it also kind of seems like it was a bit of a, the government's fault with like their cronies and whatnot. Also, a lot of funds have gone missing. It's, it's a disaster being made worse by greed. Thankfully, like the entire world is donating money and sending resources and being very good to the people who need help. That said, there's there's only so much that you can do. And this is a humanitarian disaster at a scale that we are just not able to just fix. Rapid fire. Mississippi has seen a 900% rise in the rates of infants born with syphilis. Elon Musk has now personally asked people to engage with a sponsored post on Twitter. And after the rushed and botched reveal of Google's AI search thing, uh, a lot of employees are not super happy with the CEO, Sundar Pichai. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps. I'm I'm trying to get these videos pushed out there and I just, I don't, I don't know how to do it. So I, I would appreciate your help with that. But regardless, my name is Endeavorance. Thank you for watching. Take care and be well.